Well, hey everyone, Cheryl Fong here, and I am back with another budget-friendly home decor project for you. You're gonna love this one. It's so much fun and so easy to make. It's called a dirty pour, and it looks like a um, a marble finish, a multicolors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you in this video how you can take something like this, which is just a charger for a plate, and I only paid like 99 cents for this, and you can turn it into something as beautiful as this plate. Is that gorgeous or what? So this is um, multicolored marble looking finish. I, I guess it's called a dirty pour. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. You can also do this on canvas. You can do it on plates, pretty much something that's flat. I did it also on a piece of wood, which is gonna be a Lazy Susie. And maybe a little tabletop or something like that. So. In, the next, in this video, that's we're gonna show you how to take your paint and create this beautiful finish. What we're gonna start out with, and you're gonna need, is a flow trowel. You're going to need Elmer's glue, maybe a little water if your paint is a little too thick. You're also going to need 100% um, silicone. I'll have the resources for you to purchase all these. And you're gonna need paint. Uh, use anywhere from four to five colors. Don't go overboard because then they kind of get mushed up and they start looking a little mucky. And we're going to be using paint. I'm using acrylic paint. I bought this at um, Home Depot. Some of these were only 50 cents, uh, up to $3. And so I'll just pick out a couple different colors I want and I'll custom make these for you. Or you can use, um, late, you can use latex paint or acrylic paint. This is latex paint. So this is what we're going to use in this video. Stay tuned, you're gonna love this. Hey everyone, Cheryl here with Artsy Fartsy Creations and today I'm going to show you this amazing finish today. It's called a Dirty Pour and it looks like a multicolored marble finish with these broken up cells in it. It is absolutely gorgeous and you're going to love it. But today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this actually on a plate. I bought these actually at Goodwill for 99 cents. You can also do this on like a, a canvas on a piece of wood or something that's kind of flat, something you can maneuver around. You'll see as I go through how I'm doing this. But I'm gonna do this on four of these plates because I thought how pretty would this be to do these in this marble finish and then put a, uh, what do you call, contact on command on the back so you can hang it on the wall and have kind of a display. So here's the plate I'm gonna use and I've already taken and primed one out so you can see what it looks like. I put primer on it because I want the paint to stick to this. So just prime it out with any kind of primer, let it dry, and then I'm gonna show you step by step how to do this, exactly what products I'm using, and in the blog I will also have the uh, recipe card for you and the resources on where I buy them. So this way you don't have to go running around all over town trying to get everything. So the first thing you're gonna need in this is the Floetrol. You're also going to need Elmer's glue, and then you're going to also need this stuff called Spot On. This is 100% silicone, and this is what makes the cells. So you're gonna need some of this. You're also gonna need maybe a little bit of water, just in case um, if, you know, your paint's too thick, you might wanna water it down a little tiny bit. And you're going to also need a clear coat. And I use this polycrylic, and it's a semi-gloss because I wanna have a nice sheen to it, so it gives it that marble look and you're gonna need paint. Now what I do is I go to Home Depot and I buy these little paints here, whatever colors you want, um, and you can make this fun. I'm only gonna use like four, five colors actually. This is a gray. These are, I got some of these for 50 cents, but they're normally about two or three dollars each. So I'm gonna do a gray, this really cool lime color, this pretty blue, a darker gray, and then I'm gonna use white. I already put my white in here. So the very first thing you wanna do is you wanna get some cups. These are just cheap cups, and you wanna have one for every color, and then an extra one for the pour at the end, so you're gonna need five cups. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my flow trowel, and I'm gonna pour, I don't know, I don't even measure it, about that much. I got a clear cup so you can see how much I'm putting in there. You probably won't even use all this. And you're going to pour that in four cups. 
well actually five cups because we're doing five colors. So I'm going to pour a little bit in each one. Just going to shake this up a little. Oh, I should have shaken it up first. Let me go back and shake this up. So I'm going to pour it back in and I'm going to shake it up some because it came out clear. It actually settled to the bottom. So you want to shake it up first. So I'm going to start that over. Oopsie, oopsie. So I'm going to pour a little flow troll in each of these cups. you do that, we're going to add glue, some of the Elmer's glue into it. Probably just a, like a pretty good squirt of it, not a whole lot, just a nice little squirt. So you're going to do that in each cup. And I'm going to use my big old jug -a here because I go through a lot of this. So I buy it gallon jugs. Pour all these in. Kind of fun. It's like mixing a cake almost. Putting all the ingredients in. Now we're going to take each cup and we're going to add our paint colors to it. So I'm going to use the blue first. You just want to pour a little bit in, not a whole lot. Well, wait a minute. We're going to mix it, I'm sorry. Mix up each one of those before you pour your paint in. Just take and pour, mix it all up. Jumping ahead of myself here. I get, it, I get all excited when I do this. I love it. So get a different paint stick for each one. up really good. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add our, our colors to this. So now what I want to do is just pour a little bit, move this over for a minute, a little bit of my paint in there, just a dab, not a lot. Maybe about that much. You can see that. We're going to do that with each paint color. The gray. If I can get these open. And then we're going to mix each of these up too when we're done, okay? I'm just going to get them all poured in there first. Look at how pretty that is. I love that color. With the limey green. We go with a darker gray. And then we're going to do a white. We always do a white, regardless. Got the gray done. Now I'm going to pour some white in here. And then we're going to mix all these up. Mix them up really good on the sides. We're going to put them aside. show you some because they're different sometimes they're a little bit too thick you might have to add water this might be a little thick it's okay if some are thicker than others but I know that this white was pretty thick so I'm gonna add a little water to that white 
just a little drop, not much. I'm gonna mix that up. Some of them a little thicker than the others because the cells will break up differently. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our silicone and we're going to open up this just very slightly. All you want to do is put three drops in each one. We're just going to turn it just a little bit, not mix it a lot. And just turn it a little bit. This is what's going to create the cells for you. And you don't have to put it in every color if you don't want to. don't want certain cells. You can play around with this. There we go. Now, we're going to take each of these colors. We're going to take each of these colors and we're going to pour a little bit into one of these cups because we're going to do a dump. We, you, you can either do a pour or a dump. I'm going to show you how to do the dump. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of white. And you don't want to go dark colors to dark colors. You want to do contrasting colors. So I'm going to go with a lighter color. You want to vary up your colors. Just pour a little bit into each one. Take your stick, and you're just going to cut across like that. Don't mix it up, just cut and cut. That's all you're going to do. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put our plate on top of these cones. These are called pyramids, and they're nice because they hold it up off the table so that your project doesn't stick. And you're going to just take your cup, and you're going to dump it, and then you're going to let it all go down to the bottom. And then we're going to pick the cup up and it will start moving around. I think it's pretty much done. There we go. Now we've got these pretty cells breaking up in here. So we're going to just take our plate and we're going to move this around. You do want it to go over the edges. See how it's creating all these pretty marbly looks to it. I'm just going to keep doing this. I could have probably used a little more paint. But I'll show you how we can um, add more paint here if you have some open spots. Look at that. Now, say you have some open spots in there and you have like a couple areas here, you can always take your cup and add whatever colors you want in there. I'm just gonna add a little blue, a little bit of teeny bit of white, and maybe some of the green. What you got to do is take and pour that lightly into those areas if you want to have it a little darker in some areas. And then you can just take and move it around until it runs off the edges. I'm going to 
use my fingers to just get my edges, get all that excess off. Now here's the fun part. I'm going to show you how to use a heat gun to move this around. And take my gloves off though. Then you can take this heat gun here and get these at uh, online or at Home Depot, I guess. And you just turn it on and get heat coming through and you're just going to go and put that on top of here and move your cells around. Move the paint around. There you go. And don't touch that because that gets super duper hot and it will hurt. See how I'm, I'm just going to move some stuff around here? And what this will do too, it will pop some of those cells for you. As you can see some cells creating in here. See how that's moving? And as you can see, let's see if I find a deeper place here. You'll start to see some cells creating here. I'll move the camera down here in a second so you can see what those cells look like. So you can use any colors you want. You know, pick out the colors that you use in your home. These would make some really nice gifts for people too. I mean, you could do an entire wall with this. You know, maybe do six, eight, 10, 12 of these on the wall and fill up a wall. I think that would look beautiful. So let me go get the camera down here so you can see where the cells popped. Can you see that? See how those cells are forming in here? You get all these pretty cells kind of bursting. Whoops, sorry about that. See how they're bursting? So that's how you make a dirty pour. Like I said, I will have all this on my website, on my blog. If you just go to artsyfartycreations.com, A-R-T-Z-Y, F-A-R-T-Z-Y, creations.com. I'll have a blog there. I'll have all of the um, products that you need. I'll have links where you can get those products. And uh, I'd love to see your work. So if you also want to join my Facebook group called Ask Cheryl Fun. You can go on there and ask me whatever questions you want about painting, and I'd be happy to help you out. Just go to my Facebook page, Ask Cheryl Fawn, and join my group. Thank you so much for joining me. It was a pleasure, and uh, have a blessed day.